I find it so fascinating that when you were six weeks old in your mother's womb, you began to have a heartbeat and you did not yet have a heart because a six week old embryo doesn't have a heart. There's some tissue where the heart is going to be, but there's no heart. And that tissue starts to beat. It's being activated by the power of the universe that's there and coming through that substance. And it starts to beat. And then what happens? The heart begins to form around the heartbeat. And then the rest of the physical body begins to form around that heartbeat. Isn't that a miracle? An, an absolute miracle? Life is like that, if we let it be. There's a heartbeat to it. There's a frequency to it. Not just the physical heartbeat, but there is just the, the resonant frequencies that are working through us as a human being. And we can create our life, our life experience out of that vibration. But we start tweaking it it becomes this mechanical thing. It seems easier to tweak it in some kind of artificial way that's not true to our own heartbeat. And so we try to be something other than what and who we are. And how does that work? How does it work to try to be something other than who you are? Not very well, does it? Because you're not as, you know, you're not as good a, a Tommy or a Lisa as Tommy or Lisa are, right? You can't be, you can't do Tommy or Lisa as good as they can, but you can do yourself better than anybody. True? Can't you be yourself better than you can be anybody else? That's true for all of us. How about this life experience? I was thinking of one of my favorite country and Western songs. Uh, it's Johnny Cash. Actually, I think the song was written by June Carter, Carter, but he sings it. It's Ring of Fire. I stepped into a burning ring of fire. Um, I was gonna play it this morning, but it, it goes, too much into the kind of personal relationship realm of things. And there's a reason for that in June Carter's life, apparently. Um, and, I, and I'm not in, I don't mean to evoke all that. But somehow life itself is like stepping into a ring of fire, is it not? It mm -hmm. sometimes warms us. It's beautiful. It's warming, supporting, it's loving. But fire transforms, does it not? By its very nature, it transforms. The heartbeat of the universe transforms us. It grows us. It did that in our mother's womb. It's done that all our life. It's grown us, grew us up. It's changing us. It's transforming us. Can't avoid it, really. A lot of times we might, we might like to like to avoid the change that life brings. It transforms, another word is transmutes. If you look at the origin of those two words, it means pretty much the same thing. But I think when people use the word transmute, they mean it's not just gonna change shape a little bit, it's gonna really change. It's, it's going to move to a different level of function. So life is like that. What we're doing is like that. Sunrise Ranch is like that. It's a burning ring of fire. And do you want to step into that fire? For those of us who live here, you might say, do you want to step into that fire with us? Stepping through it, on the outer edges of it, there's that transforming quality 
and in some way frightening, awesome. Somewhere along the line, perhaps we find that the safest place to be, the place we're meant to be, is in the middle of that ring of fire in our life. Right, right smack dab in the middle of it. 